In terms of the process leading up to a season, are there little things in your head that you have that you gauge in terms of progress each day? How do you keep the little things in line to, while keeping the big picture in mind as well? Well, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, you know, preseason is supposed to be tough. You know, they'll have some time to, to get rested up once we, once we get back and classes start and they're going once a day. It's a little different uh, approach to how they can get stronger and get themselves acclimated to what we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then once we start Big Ten play because of the, uh, the way the schedule works, you have some weeks where you're on the road in the middle of the week. You know, I think, uh, you know, you'd like to think people are going to get better. That's, that's kind of what the goal is. The goal is to work hard, be the best you can be, and, and see what that does for you. Who are you turning to in terms of leadership? You know, I mean, I'd like to think our older kids have a little more vested interest in what's going on. You know, Megan, uh, you know, I think Megan, Ayana, and, and Kendall are probably the three that uh, really come to mind. But I also think that uh, Haley Washington's a natural leader and, you know, a, a future captain, not only for us, but for uh, volleyball after college. When you look at Megan and Ayana specifically, what do they bring to the team on the floor? What do you like about their games and how do they complement one another? Well, I mean, I think Megan's, uh, you know, she's been one of our best volleyball players for a few years. So her volleyball IQ is really one of her, her greatest strengths. She can play all positions really well. Ayana's a, a terrific net player and uh, is, is really good with uh, the ability to keep the team loose. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great trait, I think. Megan, you've kind of come full circle with the process of becoming a leader. What's on your shoulders now? Do you find yourself doing different things at practice to help the younger individuals along? I mean, definitely. It's, it's a little different, but at the same time, you know, you've always had to have some type of leadership, freshman, sophomore, and even my junior year. There was always something on my shoulders as there is for any player. How have things gone in terms of building chemistry on the court? What do you like about the way you guys are working together, so to speak? Um, I think we have a really good chance to mold our team the way we want it to right now. We, we're really kind of in that clay formation that we can mold it however we want right now. And I think we, once we finally figure out the people that are going to play and the, and the more comfortable we get with everyone that's going to play and be on the team, then we can kind of mold our team and figure out each personality um, a little differently and how to be a better team, not just be great players. What's the competition like in the Big Ten night in and night out? Uh, it's incredible. You know, uh, Everyone says it, I've said it for four years now. The Big Ten, you go and show up, and if you don't have your A game, you're gonna lose, no matter who it is. It could be the bottom team, it could be the top team, it could be middle of the pack, it doesn't matter. If you don't, if you don't come in ready to play and ready to work hard and ready to compete, you're gonna lose. And, and I think every team knows that, and, and that's what makes it such a great conference, is that people push each other's teams to be the best that they can be. Ayana, preseason, always uh, an exciting time to get ready for a new year. What's exciting about this process? Um, it's super exciting to finally get in the gym um, and have our younger players kind of see, you know, what's expected of them and um, get a feel for what our in-season practices will be like. Um, it's super exciting to start the season, of course, and get into competition and, you know, and see what all the hard work we put in in the spring, um, where it gets us. How are things going from your perspective? Are you happy with the progress that the team's made so far? Most definitely. I think um, the team's come along, you know, we've been trying to get the younger players to see what, you know, we need out of them and they kind of get a feel for their role and um, what they kind of need to do so that we can be successful. And us as seniors, uh, it's, it's different being, you know, the eldest. It's kind of like, you know, I, I can't really make that many mistakes and I have to kind of watch out for others, but it's cool. I've kind of tried to embrace it and, um, you know, work with the coaching staff to, you know, meet coaches' expectations. And how much excitement is there heading into a season, uh, another Penn State women's volleyball season? A lot of excitement. It's kind of funny just because we're all ready to be playing in main gym. We were watching Friday Night Lights in the locker room, and there's that scene before the big game, and I was like, oh my gosh, is it season yet? Can we get in the gym? Like, it's awesome. It's exciting. We're ready to put in work.